Hello guys, this is Nippon from Nippon Studio. So in this tutorial, we are going to do an FX. Well, I don't know what to call it, but I'm pretty sure that this tutorial is going to be so excited. Okay, uh, let's take a look. Okay, so guys, first of all that you have to know about this tutorial is you don't need any footage or a videos, you know, you just Google it or find it somewhere or take a still image. So what are we going to do here? It's only just still image that we created to make it looks like a videos. Okay, all right, so first of all, you need a car and this is the back of the car okay and you have all these stuff and what I do in Photoshop just you know erase it and make it into a transparency background alright so what we have here is the car and the other thing that you need is so the building I know it looks weird right but look closer it's a window so what I'm doing here I also did it in Photoshop just you know duplicate it and this tutorial might be a little bit different than the the example that I just shown you okay alright so and the next part is what I need is this the top part of the building okay um, you, you, you get what I mean after this okay and the other thing is the sky okay so because from this point of view it's going to look up it's like tilt the camera up towards the sky so yes we're going to see the sky and there's a little stick well it's not a little right so it's a big metal that falling down so you just find it anywhere you want okay and yeah that's pretty much that we need for now okay so let's get started all right first of all let's right click a uh, new composition and let's name it I know car Falls, maybe. All right, let's do okay. Twenty-five frame per second. Okay, let's do ten second. All right, okay. Okay, and the next thing I'm gonna do the car first, but I'm not gonna put it in this com. Okay, so what I'm doing just drag it down to new com. So we just working on the car. Okay, back car here. All right, so if we see here, it just do image, right? You can see it's the mirror shouldn't be black, right? Because it's get reflected by the sky. Okay, so what we have to do is do the sky first. Okay, let's take the sky. Okay, this drag to the new com also. Okay, so okay, so this is the sky. Okay, and this is the back of the car. Okay, so if we think if the car fall down, that means the reflection has to go up, right? Okay, so let's do the sky. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is just scale it up, make it so big, something like that. Okay, and keyframe the position and then drag it up. So what we see here, it's moving. Okay, that's good. Alright, back to the car, okay? So now we need a reflection here. So let's do, let's drag that down. Do you know the, the sky? Uh, let's name it just sky. Okay. All right. Let's drag it down here. All right. So we see all is sky. Let's scale it down like 50, maybe. Make it fit. Okay. Maybe straight it out a little bit. Okay. Something like that. And okay, so and the other thing is, you know, the mirror. Oh, let's shut that off. The mirror of the back of the car here, it's not really flat, 90 degrees. Okay, it's tilt a little bit. All right. So what we need to do is let's type basic 3D. Oh, there he is. And drag it down here. Let's tilt it in this direction, but that's not correct, right? So we need it go 
a little bit that way to make it a little bit like that okay and the other thing is yes just mask it out maybe um let's do opacity like 50 so we could see in the mirror too all right let's do that all right okay it's done but the problem is because it affected by basic 3d so what we have to do now is just you know just straight it out something like that just adjust it okay that's perfect okay let's do feather like 10 maybe no let's do three okay okay and let's do blending mode like screen hmm. okay so we can see a little bit transparency there but let's do opacity down like 70 okay and if we look through it see that's pretty cool actually all right now we get the car let's go back let's come back here to the car falls okay and let's build up our scene okay First of all, let's do sky. Okay, where is sky? Um, there. Sky. Drag it down. Okay, and we want it to be a 3D layer, okay? And right click, new, and camera. Okay, and whatever it is, okay. Alright. And let's look from the top views here. So that's the camera. So we might want the sky to be way back there, okay? All right, so small, right? Let's make it bigger. And the other thing is, let's drag down the building, which is where? There. And make it 3D also. And let's flat it out. Something that you can hold down Shift to make it like that. Okay, and drag it down like that. Okay, and for this one, I'm going to do something a little bit different, okay? Okay, then just hit Ctrl D to copy it, and then let's look from the left side, okay? Alright, okay, so this is two layers of the building. So, and what we are going to do is just twist it a little bit, so like 90 degrees like that, okay? And trying to adjust it to make, and what we are kind of doing here is to get the corner of the building okay okay here so if you look from the active camera it's going to show you something like this so then just click on the camera tool and then move it down a little bit something like that so we could see the corner or like the edge of the building so if you can see here we can move it around too okay so you are just trying to adjust it whatever angle that you want okay and here's the top part that's what I'm talking about so just do the same thing you know make it 3d layers and then move it down all the way back there and then just click on the top part so we could see here okay just move it all the way on the top there and let's go to active camera and see maybe scale it up okay and adjust it a little bit and also duplicate it by Control D okay and then maybe rotate it okay maybe this way all right okay move it there and push it down and yep something like this okay all right and the next part it just took the back car come that we already did drag it down here and you know trying to adjust it also turn it to in 3d layers okay and you could put it all the way on the top and make it falling down by keyframing position so and this is what i already done okay and the next thing is we're going to do the glass and right click and new composition and okay and new solid so let's make it black okay and here just drag this cc particle world okay into your black solid and okay if you can see here it's going to be something like firework but that's not what we want so here just shut that off all right and then 
maybe bring it down a little bit so you know try to adjust with these options and then go to particle okay and choose try polygon okay and then just adjust with these options and then let's do gravity maybe something like that because if you put in that way see it's go up and if you put another way it goes down so we want to put it in the middle so we could see like it's coming right at you all right and then do the velocity maybe a little bit down because we don't want it to go off from our comp okay adjust these a little bit okay and then let's choose the color white and this is a little bit grayish bluish okay all right something like that okay let's back to this and just maybe just name it glass and then drag it down okay let's solo that okay and then let's try to pick the one that it shows us a nice broken glass there and then right and then let's do right click time and time stretch okay let's do maybe 300 all right so it might go a little bit slower okay and then unsolo it and also turn on 3d layers yes and it be put it all the way back in the front of the car okay and then maybe scale it down a little bit as you can see here okay and then let's keyframe it so if you see the car goes here so that mean the glass should be already behind the camera so if you could see here Oh, okay here it's going down 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 yeah you know okay and what I'm going to do here is hit on the stopwatch of camera transform okay and then maybe zoom it in you know yeah so we could see something like that and also maybe oops spin it a little bit okay oh okay and then just turn the motion blurs on and you know so okay let's do real quick here so new adjustment layer um, let's do color balance okay um, it's depend on people you know some of people like to use curve but uh, I don't know I don't really care okay something like that maybe and put a and put like a thick net okay something more like this should work okay Okay, so other than that, you could do camera shaking or whatever you want, okay, to make it look good for you. So this is how we do it, okay? So thank you for watching this tutorial. And if you have any comments, just, you know, feel free to ask or whatever that you want to suggest. I'll be willing to answer the question or any type of comments, okay? And... I'll see you guys next time. God bless you.